feeling that we're almost there. Jordan's trotting around here with no shoes on. Yes, nobody noticed. Breaking I made it in. the rules. <laughs> Shh, don't tell. That little ray of sunshine over there is the vagabonds. They're here. My name's Jordan. And I'm Nate. We are two scuba diving instructors on a mission to see the world. The whole world, not just what lays above the surface of the sea. Join us on an adventure as we travel, dive, and explore this crazy big world we call Earth. while we're staying here in Menorca. This is Aventurero. If you follow me inside, there's many wonders for you to feast your eyes upon. Cozy is the word I'm gonna use to describe it. <laughs> um, but it's definitely plenty of room for two people. Probably if you didn't have two giant suitcases full of scuba diving gear, you'd probably find it to be a little more spacious. Got a nice big bed back here. Um, we've got some nice LED lighting to set the mood. We've got our nice spacious kitchen area over here. We've got a nice little burner so we can cook some simple meals there. We have a sink that doesn't actually work. Our water is not working, which is kind of the only one little thing that was a little bit of a bummer, but um, we've been making do without. And it doesn't have a bathroom, which kind of sucks too. Uh, there's a bathroom in the marina that we can use, um, but it closes at 10. <laughs> So I've definitely been getting into some interesting nighttime missions, trying to find places to go to the bathroom, but so far we haven't had any terrible accidents, so <laughs> I think we, I think we did, well I guess this is it. We're editing all that out. But... That's our, our pad for the next week, two weeks. Yeah, we're going to be here for two weeks. How exciting. Back on the water. <laughs> <laughs> We are getting ready to go diving with Marac divers. Um, really nice people. Today they're gonna be our models while we're trying to film some promotional materials for OTS. So yeah, we're really excited about it and here we go. Okay, so we went from our boat right here to the dive shop right here to the boat right here. This is by far the most stress-free and convenient diving we've ever done. But we're just getting all the gear loaded up. You guys excited? Yes! <laughs> Nate, are you excited? Oh yeah! Yes! A day of scuba is always a good day. Wake up to the sound of your fleeting heart Wake up to the sound of your fleeting heart As we motored out through this picture-perfect Mediterranean channel, we felt an instant bond with Lara, Chebby, and Danny, our hosts for the day. Despite the fact that we were headed out to a dive site that they had probably dove hundreds of times, we could feel their excitement just to get underwater with some new friends. These were our people. The kind that live for diving. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Why'd you leave this face? On my heart, on my face. I don't know what it was about this dive, but from the moment we jumped in, it just felt magical. Maybe it was the thousands of tiny fish that speckled the sea like stars in the sky, or the water that was so clear that it made you feel like you were floating untethered through space or the feeling you get when you sink below the surface in a completely unknown corner of the ocean and you just know that anything could happen on this dive. Whatever it was, 
all I could do was smile as we made our way down into an incredible structure full of twists, turns, and surprises. The others chatted away in Spanish that I couldn't begin to translate for you, while I just floated along in silence, content to my absolute core after a perfect day of diving. Woo! That's cool. Oh my yeah. <laughs> That was an awesome dive. That was so cool, actually. Yeah. So very, awesome. I'm very impressed with Menorca so uh, far. Yeah, very. Beautiful. At our lovely home. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Did you like that dive, Danny? Really, really. Oh, I so really good. like it. That Your hair looks great right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's crazy, my hair. Yeah. We had a little mishap with the map and it turns out that what we thought were roads were not really roads on the map. They were like <laughs> private roads or footpaths or whatever and so we got down to wherever we thought was the fastest way and then we were actually still like an hour away. So we're not going to the beach that we planned to go to but we're going to the nearest by one that seems kind of cool. Um, but it is a little bit of a walk. We're going to walk I think about two miles to get to it so hopefully It'll be really awesome and totally worth it. I got a feeling that we're almost there. Oh, that's not a bear at all. It's like a weird <laughs> pig. <laughs> what are you? We came up on the sign and I was like, what, they have a wild bear here? There's no way. But no, it's just a, uh, just a pig with a scrotum for a chin. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Oh man, one day we'll find out what it yeah, actually is. Right. So we found a little corner pocket of this beautiful beach, nameless beach. We didn't want to film before, a lot of towels swimming everywhere. So yeah, you can see right there where as the tide went out, it made a little path where you can walk over here. And now we've got our own little private area. Before we were kind of in the middle of, like he was saying, a bunch of very content but topless sunbathing ladies and we didn't want to be hurting all over them with a the camera but now we have a nice little private corner over here. I like how like all the beaches that we've seen so far anyways they have these really cool you know 
rock structures all around and it's very it's very much how I picture in the Mediterranean speeds. It's pretty awesome. Gorgeous, let's show it to you. Yeah. You ready? Take it in. <laughs> we, we found an American restaurant here in Menorca. Yeah. We got an Amer Native American and a cowboy. Big Al's Ranch. And a bald eagle. And a bald eagle. Over the door. America. There's probably cars behind us like, stupid Americans! <laughs> On our way to this really cool bar, I wish I could say the name of it. I'm gonna completely butcher it, so I'm just gonna flash it on the screen here at some point and let you know what it's called. Kova den Zorai. Kova den Zoroi. <laughs> something like that. Apologize to people who actually know this bar. And or no please, Spanish. Or no Spanish. <laughs> please feel free to shame us in the comments. But it's on a cliffside and it's actually like a cave that goes into the cliff and that's where the bar is. So it's a bar in a cave on a cliff watching sunset. We're getting ready to go into probably the fanciest place that we're going to be going to for a whole trip and I accidentally left my shoes in the parking lot at the beach. But we're gonna try and get it anyways. Luckily I'm wearing long pants, so maybe people won't see my feet. We'll see. We made it inside the cave bar. Um, this place is cool. Oh, it's <laughs> by far the coolest bar I've ever been in. Oh yeah. Hands down. Yeah. So uh, we're just gonna call it cave bar again. Oh, wow. We we can't <laughs> pronounce this place, but uh, the ambiance is amazing. Jordan's trotting around here with no shoes on. Yes, nobody noticed. Breaking I made it in. the rules. It was even on the rules book. <laughs> Shh, don't tell. If you have a cave in your backyard, <laughs> you should probably make a bar out of it. You're gonna be rich. So yeah. Anybody cave owners, if you're watching this, get on it. Call me. Yeah, we we'll can. Come. We'll we come. can spitball some ideas. Just don't give it a hard name. Just call it cave bar. Come to think of it, it's been a long day of just caves. Yeah, yeah. dude. We, we scuba in a cave, and yeah. now we're partying. We literally. Uh, <laughs> we right, literally journeyed to, to the center of the earth today. This episode is going to be just caves. Caves. Caves and caves. Caves and caves and caves and tears. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. You didn't, did you drink? Oh, no. Oh, here we go. Do it again. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Yes! Mm -hmm.
that little ray of sunshine over there is the vagabonds. They're here. Tune in next time as we crash a Spanish TV documentary and do our deepest dive ever. Then we finally meet up with the legendary Riley and Elena of Sailing the Vagabond.